great to be with you all today. Oh yeah. My name is Emily Kennedy. I'm CEO of Marinus Analytics, and for the past six years, I've dedicated my life and my time to fighting human trafficking. And I've always believed, and is, it's, it appears it's a theme today, that anyone with any of the skills that you might have can do something in this fight. And not only that, because human trafficking is so complex, it in fact requires people from a variety of backgrounds and experiences to do something about it. I founded my company in 2014 in order to bring artificial intelligence solutions to law enforcement, but my journey to this work started much earlier. My first contact with human trafficking came when I was traveling through Eastern Europe at the age of 16. I saw some children on the street, much like these, and they wanted to wash our car windows. But they had this air of desperation about them. And it wasn't until later that I learned that these were Gypsy Roma children. They worked for the Russian mob, and if they didn't bring home enough money to meet their daily quota, they would be punished. I was hit hard with the reality that children my age and younger had their lives stolen in this way. And when I returned to the States, I learned that human trafficking is a global problem. And when I became a student at Carnegie Mellon University, I knew I had to do something about it. The destruction of these victims' lives on a daily basis lined the pockets of their exploiters, and not only that, the internet has made it much more difficult to track these criminals, especially when it comes to sex trafficking. And so I thought, what if we could take this same technology, put it into the hands of law enforcement, and give them the cutting edge they need to find and rescue these victims? And so I began working with some of those nerd geniuses at the Robotics Institute, and I saw the potential of machine learning to take a huge amount of data and find the signal and the noise that would help law enforcement find these victims. And so I continued this work after graduation at the lab, building prototypes, and soon I started getting calls from law enforcement across the country who had heard about my work and that's when I knew we needed to put a tool into their hands. This tool is called Traffic Jam. It's artificial intelligence software that mines the top escort ad and review websites across the country every single minute. And we see upwards of 250,000 new ads every single day. Traffic Jam searches millions of data points in seconds to turn this huge amount of data into actionable intelligence. And our goal is to significantly reduce the amount of time it takes to get to a victim's identity and to their location. And Traffic Jam also helps law enforcement identify and dismantle organized criminal networks. It saves our users hundreds of hours, and they tell us that if they didn't have Traffic Jam, they'd have to hire a full-time analyst in order to handle the workload. So we've seen Traffic Jam have a huge impact in this space. And our latest release in Traffic Jam is called Face Search. It's the first facial recognition technology used to find victims of human trafficking. And we knew this technology would be so important because in the US it's estimated that one out of six runaway kids were likely to be trafficked for sex. And there has never been a way to search for these victims at scale until now. So with face search, a detective can upload a picture of a victim from a missing persons poster or a social media profile, and in seconds determine whether this person has been sold online for sex, and if so, where they're located. So in the first three days that we deployed face search, it identified two missing kids sold online. And just last week, I spoke with law enforcement from Los Angeles who told me that they used it to find a 16-year-old runaway just by uploading her photo and finding a 93% match. 
And timing is so important in these cases. They were immediately and quickly able to go and rescue her and arrest two of her pimps for human trafficking. So these are just a couple of ways that we've seen AI have a huge impact in this space. This started as a project that I began in my dorm room on a crappy laptop, and now it serves local, state, and federal law enforcement across North America. We attack this crime by arming law enforcement with the tools they need to harness the power of the internet to find these victims. And in one example in particular, this impact was extremely tangible. This is a house in the state of New Mexico where sex slaves were kept. You can see the window was blasted open when a SWAT team raided the area. Girls were kept in dog crates when they weren't servicing clients. Their trafficker had already murdered one girl and they were probably wondering who would be next. Traffic Jam pointed law enforcement to this group, enabling them to rescue these victims and bring their exploiters to justice. And although here the horrors of human trafficking were extremely tangible, that is not always the case. Because we live in a globally connected world, and that is no more true than it is for business but often human trafficking looks like legitimate business. And so we need a way to separate out this crime from the huge amount of data. Traffickers hide behind their laptops and their cell phones, and we cannot let them hide anymore. And many of you are owners of the global information infrastructure, and you have an obligation to find this illegal and abusive activity in your systems. And we want to use AI to help you do that, to better understand the who behind all of these transactions. And the great thing about this is, as many others have said today, we don't have to do it alone. And in fact, this crime against our common humanity cannot be fought by one person or one group. We have to do it together. And that reminds me of a quote that says, if you want to go fast, Go alone, but if you want to go far, go together. And we must go together. So as I've said, anyone can contribute their skills to fighting human trafficking. And AI has a huge potential to be used for good here, to ensure that criminals cannot use technology to exploit others. So if you work for any of the institutions that follow the money, let's work together to better identify transactions linked to human trafficking, money laundering, and organized crime. Let's use our machine learning to better understand what the patterns of human trafficking even look like. Let's deploy Traffic Jam in Asia to address the issue here. Every single person in this room has a crucial part to play in this fight. And if we work together, we can identify these victims much earlier in the cycle of exploitation, and we can destroy organized criminal networks. You can and you must lend yourself to this fight. Please join me. Thank you.